is the uh, Earth is going between the sun and the moon, and the Earth is blocking out the light from the sun, so the moon is going to get dark and we can't see it. I've never seen it. I've never seen a blood moon ever, actually, and so this is like a whole new experience for me. Yeah, this is pretty wild for astronomers. <laughs> It's had a lot of press, certainly. It's been called the Super Blood Wolf Moon, of all things. The wolf part is just the name of the moon in January in the old medieval tradition. The blood part is just that when the moon goes into the Earth's shadow, it looks red. And the great thing about lunar eclipses is that they're a nice slow event, as you can see. The family, all the family's going to enjoy them. You don't need any special equipment. You can just kind of go out and watch. And it's a really interesting phenomena to observe. You can watch the moon go into the Earth's shadow. There's a lot of historical significance to this in the sense that you can connect with different cycles that connect you with the far past. Um, so it's, uh, people have a good time with it. Um, so I found out about the event through Facebook and I actually didn't know this observatory existed until the event and I saw it about like 10, 15 minutes ago and figured I might as well check it out. And I know there's not a new one until like 2021, if that's right. Um, so I haven't really ever seen one, so I kind of want to see one for the first time. To learn about science, get excited about science, I mean, this is... What else, what more could you want, right? It's, it's happening right in front of your eyes and it's such a wonderful, um, easy lesson to teach kids about what's happening. You and know, you, nev you never know what, what experience from their childhood could inspire them to, to what they may want to pursue when they're older. So this is great to ex expose them to this.